Puff Daddy and Kim Porter had a rocky romance that lasted for two decades. But despite his love for Kim, Diddy couldn't shake his bad boy ways and saw many women outside of their relationship, one of those women being Jennifer Lopez. Here's how J-Lo once came in between P. Diddy and the late Kim Porter's relationship. Diddy and Kim started dating in 1994 after she was hired as a receptionist at Uptown Records, despite them meeting a few years prior. Kim said during an interview with Notorious Magazine that they planned on getting married, but weren't in a rush. The couple got pregnant in 1997, and in 1998, they welcomed their first child together, Christian. Around this time, Diddy started working with rising actress and singer Jennifer Lopez and was producing her debut album, On The Six. During the production of the album, the pair started dating, all while Diddy was still living with Kim. Kim found out about their romance when a friend called her. And upon hearing the news, she would kick him out of his own home, where they both were living. His reason for stepping out on their relationship was because he wanted a more exciting relationship, and he claims that Kim was just too laid back. She was married at the time, so I was in my, uh, my own relationship, so I had to have self-control. And then we just became friends. I was a dancer, she was a dancer. I was ambitious, she was ambitious. I, I was a workaholic, she was a workaholic. But at first, all of those things um, was working and I benefited. When Jennifer's marriage came to an end in 1998, they were finally able to embark on the romance they had been resisting. Things started to happen. I started looking into her eyes, more spending more time with her, and I just fell in love with her. To have somebody who, by your side, who understands what you're going through, when at the end of the day, doesn't need anything from you except to love you. She was one of the nicest, most beautiful people that I had met. You know. Even if you were broke, my love don't cost a thing. Jennifer and Puffy finally come clean in Puffy's own magazine, Notorious. Puffy and Jennifer did finally fess up. They did a kind of interview with each other and they had kind of cute word games and pretty much spilled the beans about the fact that they liked each other a lot. Diddy and J-Lo quickly became a high profile couple and were photographed everywhere from red carpets to nightclubs and outings. Kim would call their relationship publicly humiliating and disrespectful. Even Kim's whole family was disgusted with Diddy's relationship with Jenny. Uh, this became this really big thing it became her energy and her glamour put together with his energy and his glamour and it was just like this explosive high fashion cutting edge duo fully blown up mainstream in your face hot shoes hot dresses hot clothes hot shades hot cars hot parties on fire puffy was on a roll he had jennifer lopez on his arms it was a sultry latina singer and he's the king of rap <laughs> We just both in love with each other, just like to spend every moment and every second with each other. The paparazzi was unbelievable. I had never seen that like that. It was like a movie. She says that Diddy only got caught up in the publicity and their image and fell for a big booty and a smile. The relationship between Puffy and J-Lo would be tested in late 1999 when the pair was arrested in connection to a shooting that took place at a nightclub located in Manhattan. The couple was celebrating the release of rapper Shine's forthcoming album when shots rang out and injured three people. After fleeing the scene and running a red light, the couple was pulled over by cops and was arrested for being in possession of a stolen handgun. Jennifer spent 14 hours in a cell before being released and the charges were dropped when they realized that she had no involvement. To get her out of there. Inside, three people lay wounded. Outside, Lopez found Combs. According to police reports, the couple jumped into the backseat of his SUV. Puffy's driver and his bodyguard were in front. Officers arrived as the SUV pulled away. They ordered the driver to stop. Instead, he swerved around a patrol car and led cops on an 11 block chase. Police finally forced the SUV to pull over. Officers discovered a loaded gun on the front seat. Meanwhile, back at the club, detectives slapped the cuffs on Shine. Everybody was booked, including Jennifer Lopez. They spent the night in the precinct. She was crying a lot. She was a mess. Probably what was going through her mind is her career flashing before her eyes. Obviously, nobody really wants to be arrested <laughs> or handcuffed or, you know, go through all that kind of stuff. It's a really traumatic experience. 
Police charged Sean Puffy Combs and Jennifer Lopez with felony gun possession. Sean was accused of attempted murder and assault. Both men were released on bail. Charges against Lopez were dropped. The reason Miss Lopez was dismissed is because if you or I went into a car and sat in the back seat and a gun was found in the front, all cases would be dismissed. I want to say to, to you all face to face, I had nothing to do with a shooting that night in a nightclub, nor did Jennifer. Still, the tabloids kicked into overdrive. There were guns, there was a shooting, there was a car chase. And Jennifer Lopez was prominently part of this picture. And she suddenly looked like a gangsta. She wasn't in trouble for anything, but you couldn't get away from the media coverage of how she was involved in the situation. The bad press KO'd a relationship already on the ropes. Even if the two had been in love and were tight, they were fighting a big monster, and the monster was his charges and the paparazzi following them. It was getting on her nerves. It's like, okay, I was in the club, somebody fired some guns, I didn't do anything. Now, I got a great record. And after a lengthy court battle, Diddy would be acquitted on all charges. The incident would inspire an episode of Law & Order that aired in 2001. Despite Puffy and JLo being an item, Diddy was still very much so in love with Kim, calling her several times a day, but the ex-lovers would eventually end up in family court, with Kim demanding more money and child support and banning Jennifer from being around her sons, one of whom she had from a previous relationship with I'll Be Sure that Diddy later adopted. Kim said in quote, I'm a full black woman. We don't mix and mingle like that. I'd kill him dead. So he knew better. And besides, does she look like the type that would want to play house and family with two little black kids? No, I don't think it was that type of situation. Court documents claim that him and Kim carried on a sexual relationship and would spend weekends together with the children while he was still dating Jennifer. Diddy and Jennifer would split for good in February of 2001. Following their breakup, Jenny spoke with Vibe magazine and said that Diddy was the first man to cheat on her and says that her and Diddy broke up often. She said in quote, I was in a relationship with Puff where I was totally crying, crazy and going nuts. It really took my whole life in a tailspin. And when asked about a rumor of her hunting him down in a hotel, she responded, I never caught him, but I just knew. He'd say he was going to the club for a couple hours and then never come back that night. I had to think, do I want to be at home with kids in 10 years wondering where somebody is at 3 in the morning? It was like devastating. Mm -hmm. But I never could build up the words to express how I love her. Puffy believes his fear of commitment was partially to blame for the breakup. It was the worst type of pain. And what, what you be feeling, it was just, imagine that like five times worse. Because the timing of it, the timing and everything, just like, it wasn't just raining, it was like, and the whole world is just like falling apart. You got like rain, sleet, snow, thunder, hail. She's going a separate way, and this is a time when I ain't wanted her to go a separate way, and it's like I'm meeting her. It's like a tragedy that it ain't worked out. Soon after their breakup, Diddy and Kim would reconcile and welcomed a set of twins. And despite their relationship ending for good in 2007, the pair remained best friends and continued to co-parent their blended family together until her unexpected death in 2018. Kim in quote said, That relationship wasn't real. The world saw the bright lights and the camera, but I knew what was really going on. He was still in love with me, and she would always tell him that once he's done with his little Puerto Rican girlfriend, he'd be back. And Diddy was back. Rest in peace to Kim Porter who died in November of 2018.